This is deceptive marketing at its worst. Billions of people, they say, enjoy Coke as part of their diet every day. Coke doesn't belong in the human diet. It's a tiny can filled with high fructose corn syrup. This is the amount of sugar that you're putting in your body through corn when you drink one of these. This is one of the biggest feats of genius, irresponsible marketing in the world. It is essentially creating what is called a crap-tastic product, a product that nobody needs, that no one would have genuinely desired, except that Coca-Cola makes you desire. What good does Coca-Cola do you physically? Uh, I... This is James Quincy, the CEO of Coca-Cola, being grilled by Jeremy Paxman, the journalist. As, as the introduction said, does have some sugar in it. It, it is energy. Is it an absolute necessity? Uh, no, it's not. Sugar is a drug. According to the United Nations, the average adult should be taking no more than 25 grams of sugar a day. So one can of Coke already takes you above that. But what we know today, based on the latest research, is that sugar is more addictive than cocaine. It causes profound damage to your body, it leads to obesity and diabetes, and it also influences your energy levels by dropping them. It influences your thinking by affecting your memory and your performance at work. Sugar is one of the most dangerous things you can put in your body in artificial quantities. Look, look, look at this. 23 sachets of sugar in that single container. That is equivalent to almost 70 grams of sugar. 44 packets of sugar in this one. 44! That's 140 grams of sugar. What the United Nations says is reasonable to take in a week, you just put into your body in the course of watching a single movie. But there's zero sugar in a Coke Zero. When they remove sugar to maintain the taste, they've got to put artificial sweetness in the drink. Today we know that those artificial sweetness have a huge cost on your body. We have trillions of bacteria in our gut. They regulate our metabolism, they regulate our emotions. Your gut bacteria keeps you healthy and functioning normally. Artificial sweetness destroy your gut bacteria. Diet cola is actually worse for your body than the original sugar-laden crap. So you accept your role in the obesity epidemic, do you? Uh, I think as a contributor of calories into the British diet, of course we must. But beating obesity will take continued action by all of us, based on one simple common sense fact. All calories count. Let's talk about calories. 200 calories of broccoli, 200 calories of Coke. What do you think is better? You see, not all calories are equal. Whenever they bring in the calorie argument, they are misleading you from the fact that Coca-Cola is a dangerous substance. Because the more you think a calorie is a calorie, the more you think, well, then if you ate less and exercise more, it would work. It doesn't. Nestle does this, Coca-Cola does this. They make you feel guilty by saying, no, you know, it's okay, drink our product. It, and if you want to stay healthy, just go ahead and do some exercise. They equate their brands with health events. The fact is, modern research shows that 80 to 90% of your body shape is not determined by exercise. It's determined by what you put in your body. That is why we're very focused as one of the things we're doing on getting the information out there. We're not trying to hide the information behind what's in a Coca-Cola classic. To hide it. We're putting it in the advertising. That's a lie. It's hardly in the advertising. Coke advertising is about emotion. It's about speaking to your heart. It's about suppressing your logic and your knowledge of health so that you consume their shit. Everything about Coca-Cola is a form of seduction and brainwashing. From the fizzy sound it makes when you open the can, to the way it sounds when you pour it into the glass, to the colors of the packaging, Coke knowingly uses cause-based and emotional marketing to hide the fact that they have successfully brainwashed billions of people to put in their bodies willingly a substance that is dangerous. In fact, the CEO of Coke, Roberta Grazetto, told his workforce, our battle is not with other colas, our battle is with water. Well, because I got thirsty in cold weather, just the same as I did in hot weather. When I got thirsty, I thought of Coca-Cola. Rover, you're trying to sell me something. So please, take action. Promote the health of the people you care about. Go ahead and share this video. In fact, you can cut, edit, dub, 
translate this in your own language, upload it to your own YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram channels. But let's help spread the message.